Hey guys, so yet again, here we are with another significant weekend of astrology. They just keep coming at us this weekend, day four and day five of what I've been calling a six day energetic window that we have going on this month in the month of September, started on the 14th, ending on the 19th. But this is really being represented by a sequence of four major transits. If you guys have been following my channel the past couple days, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but we are in day four of this process and this weekend we are dealing with the sun in an opposition to neptune while the moon in gemini isn't square to these planets and then on sunday we will be looking at mercury in an exact opposition to jupiter while the moon in cancer is an exact square to these planets so we have a mutable t-square setting up in the sky on saturday between the sun Neptune and the moon. And then on Sunday, we're going to be looking at a cardinal T-square between Mercury, Jupiter, and the moon in Cancer. So we've got a lot to talk about this weekend, you guys, in terms of what astrology is playing out, how it might be affecting us, what perhaps we can anticipate as we're going throughout this period of time. But I can tell you there are some spiritual truths that universe is trying to bring to us this weekend to help us release ourselves from things that are out of alignment with our personal authentic truths. So that is what we are navigating, you guys. Let's jump into the chart. Let's see how this energy is playing out and what we might be able to anticipate as we are navigating this process this weekend. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Saturday, September 17th. 2022. My name is Aubrey and this is your astrological outlook of the weekend. We're going to be talking about Saturday energy and Sunday energy in this report today and there's a lot to get into. If you guys have been following along with my channel the past couple days, we've been talking about this energetic window that I felt like was opening between the 14th and the 19th of September based on the sequence of four transits that were happening back to back to back to back. Now, of course, we're on the 17th today, so we've made it through a couple of these specific specifically the big one, um, Mars and Venus, an exact square. This was going on yesterday and it was going on um, on the 15th as well. The 15th and the 16th are when we had Mars and Venus in the exact square. And this was sort of like kicking off these transits that we have going on. Today we have the sun coming into exact opposition with Neptune while the moon is in square from the sign of Gemini. Tomorrow we're going to have Jupiter in an exact opposition to Mercury while the moon is in square from the sign of Cancer. And then on the 19th, the sun will be coming into an exact trine with Pluto and we will simultaneously have Venus in an exact square to Uranus. So Mars square Venus, this was the first dynamic of this six day window. We had it going on yesterday and the day before. This may have been really bringing up some like interpersonal conflicts going on within our relationships, going on within friend circles, social circles, going on within families and siblings or communities. And it had a lot to do with Universe trying to show us where anywhere that we have been overly attached to our ego is actually interfering with us getting what it is that we truly want on like a very heart and soul based level. This energy, this Venus and Mars square was really trying to help us to rediscover what it is that we truly want on this heart and soul based level based on these issues that may have been surfacing or arising as a result of things that we have created or built or aligned ourselves with in our lives that are more in alignment with our ego as opposed to, you know, the true nature of our heart. So that is one lesson that we have been navigating over this past couple of days. What is it that I truly want? What is it that I truly love? And what do I need to do? How How is my life right now out of alignment with that? So that was the first part of this journey. And this energy is still ongoing. Like this energy is all very much blended and pretty much all happening at the same time because, you know, these aspects have been building into each other, coming into the conjunction, and then they have their exact moment and then they separate and they're still present. So we are still dealing with the dynamic of Venus and Mars playing out today. However, they're no longer exact. They're in a one degree orb separation but the main the main deal coming into its exactness today is the sun coming into the exact opposition to Neptune the sun in Virgo and Neptune in the sign of Pisces now Neptune rules Pisces this is Neptune's sign of rulership and Neptune is very 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 strong in the sign of Pisces and so there is likely to be a very very Neptune oriented 
energy that is just sort of the main thing that we are wading through today. And of course, you know, it can't just be the sun and the opposition to Neptune that we're dealing with. Synchronistically, the way this is playing out, the cosmic blueprint being activated requires the moon at this moment. It could, the moon could be anywhere, you guys. There is 12 signs. The moon takes like two and a half days or so to transit a sign. Like the moon could literally be anywhere, but the moon happens to be exactly, <laughs> exactly in the sign exactly in the right degree range of that sign to be creating a square to both Neptune and the sun in their once yearly opposition the sun only opposes Neptune exact one day a year you guys and this is that day and for that day the moon happens to be right in the square and the moon being in that square is in the sign of Gemini right Mars is also in Gemini this is where this Venus Mars square was setting off from Mercury is also the ruler of Gemini right ruling the position of the moon today and Mercury is also another planet first of all ruling this Virgo cycle that we're in but secondly in one of these four big aspects that I feel like are taking us through this journey of self-discovery and transformation throughout this six-day window that I've been talking about, Mercury is in an opposition to Jupiter, and this aspect is actually going to be coming exact tomorrow. So, um, you know, the moon's placement is very significant in all of this today and is like really setting it off. So let's talk about sun opposition Neptune vibes. Of course, we need to remember that this is in the context of the square playing out between Venus and Mars. If you guys missed my videos from the past couple days, day one and day two of Venus and Mars and square, I would recommend checking those out because they will give you more context through which to like apply today's information as like an overlay because like I said, like all of this energy is like ongoing together and contributing to the overall journey into self-discovery and transformation that this period and these aspects are like representing but sun in opposition to neptune this can create some like very significant escapism tendencies like an urge to just kind of escape reality this weekend could really be sort of the general vibe okay we want to be very very careful with substances and alcohol specifically neptune pisces escapism alcohol can be like a real big issue when we have this type of energy being activated so we just want to keep that in mind we may be looking to escape from things and self-medicate in this energy because neptune really just wants to like merge back into all that is like neptune does not want pisces and neptune do not like having to confront difficult issues in the 3d physical reality like they would pretty much do anything to avoid having to do that and with the sun in virgo this is a very grounded practical fact-based like what's happening on the ground energy and with these two planets in an opposition it's like you know us like putting a highlight on the places that we may be avoiding our own reality or avoiding our own truth, which may sort of make us want to flee from that even more or in the context. Also, remember, we have to take this into consideration in terms of the context of what is playing out. Any of these relationship conflicts that are surfacing, any of these issues about our own ego that are coming into play and we're sort of like realizing or any of these just like difficult interpersonal dynamics that may be playing out in the context of this Venus Mars energy may be triggering this real strong desire to escape. And we just really want to be careful about sort of like overdoing it in terms of like the alcohol or like drugs or you know anywhere really food also and stuff as well like anywhere where we sort of like try to self-medicate or soothe or escape you know, something to just keep in mind. The thing is, like, we do, we can use this energy pos positively. Like, escapism is not necessarily a bad thing, especially in the context of these relationship dynamics that may be breaking down as a result of them just truly being out of authentic alignment with us. Like, this is release energy, yes. We don't want to release ourselves from our reality totally, but we want to release ourselves from the aspects of our reality that we are discovering in this process are no longer aligned with us, are not filling our cup are not filling our like heart and soul with anything or leaving us feeling empty essentially like that is what we want to release ourselves from so if we are feeling this desire to just like uh, escape from things and run away in this energy maybe we need to really consider how we can apply that in a way that can actually benefit us like we don't need to deny ourselves the you know urge or you know we're feeling to escape we just need to make sure that we are releasing ourselves from things that are benefiting us and not 
sort of perpetuating our problems by continue or refusing to face them. There could definitely also be um, themes of loss and painful endings coming through today with this, but we are also birthing something new, which is actually being facilitated through this process. Let's talk about the positions of the Sabians for a minute. First of all, the sun today is at 25 degrees of Virgo. Neptune is, of course, at 25 degrees of Pisces right now. The earth is always in a polar opposition to the sun as well. So if uh, the sun is opposite Neptune, that means the earth is in a conjunction to Neptune. And that's what's happening on the ground. We're just generally in the state of like fog and delusion and confusion. And this energy again, where, you know, Neptune is a very spiritual planet. Like this is trying to give us, um, in alignment with our greater spiritual truths, especially with the Ver Mercury Neptune opposition going on too, and helping us to see through the fog, to see through the illusion, to sort of burn through the rays of the sun anywhere we've been deluding ourselves as well. But things just generally, when we have the Earth in a conjunction to Neptune, the Sun in opposition to Neptune, are likely to not be totally clear today. And the Sun, 25 Virgo, that Sabian symbol is a flag at half mass in front of a public building and then 25 degrees of Pisces where Neptune and the earth are saving symbol the purging of the priesthood so you know I'm reading this purging of the priesthood you know, there's a few ways that I feel like this could go okay you guys first of all the purging of the priesthood this really has to do with us being able to release ourselves from anywhere that we've been surrendering power to something that has not been working in our best interest or that has actually been keeping us from a place of coming into our own form of self-empowerment. And with the flag at the half mass in front of the public building, like this may be coming through some type of painful loss that we are experiencing, some type of painful ending or some type of breakdown. Um, also, I am seeing, and I should say this, you know, and I said this a little bit in my video uh, yesterday as well, like I do feel like today is sort of like a red flag day for like false flags or for manipulation or for deception or for people really like trying to like pull puppet strings behind the scenes to like manipulate some type of outcome because with the Neptune influence today, like we are just more susceptible to sort of falling into some type of hypnosis or to um being you know more like open to some type of fantasy or illusion or narrative like it's hard for us to see virgo in this energy you know we can't see through the fog to see the virgo to see the facts to see the truth to see like the concrete evidence and stuff like that like we're just sort of navigating and trying to trust you know like the higher power or trying to trust our spiritual guidance or whatever, but without a real ability to sort of like ground any of that and any type of actual truth or any type of actual fact. And because of that, it can make us a lot more susceptible to these illusions or to these projections. And um, we also have Mercury today at six degrees of Libra. That Sabian symbol is a man watches his ideals taking a concrete form before his inner vision. Again, this is a very another very like Neptunian symbol. On one hand, yes, like the visual component of the Pisces and Neptune energy, like this is a very, very powerful dimension of or a very, very powerful um, mechanism of the manifestation process. And it really is something that helps us to imprint our desires to manifest our reality. But, you know, with the way this is playing out, and we also have Jupiter right now, five degrees of Aries, that Sabian symbol is a triangle with wings. So birthing something new through the vision, through the mind's eye being facilitated actually in this process, the triangle, the trine energy with wings to like take flight. But with the Neptune opposite the sun today and also the moon in square, that's another major dimension of this that is really activating this opposition between the sun and Neptune to a whole nother octave like it's just the facts are not clear and we are highly susceptible to these illusions and these projections with these specific specific Sabian symbols being discharged as well also Mercury be, Mercury being retrograde and in the opposition to Jupiter with Mars also in the sign of Gemini and the moon also in the sign of Gemini we are not understanding things clearly but it's possible that, you know, through again, like the moon in Gemini, Mars in Gemini, like we can't allow people to sort of manipulate us through a narrative that is like feeding our ego in some type of a way, spurring us into some type of action. 
For the new moon, you guys, that we had this past new moon in Virgo, Mars was at five degrees of Gemini, I believe, an exact square to the new moon. That Sabian symbol is a radical magazine calling with a, displaying a sensational front page, calling for action. I feel like this is sort of that energy from the new moon being triggered, and we don't want to allow ourselves to be sort of like prompted into taking some type of reckless action as a result of something that we are hearing. Um, without the facts and the like all the information about it to back it up like we don't want to be taking impulsive actions based on just like something that we are hearing in the moment without making sure that we know the details that we know like all the information and we truly have a really good understanding of what is going on in the situation because that could really backfire uh, in some type of way in this energy. We are basically like being highly, we're highly susceptible to manipulation today and this weekend. So we should be aware of that and not allow other people to influence our thoughts, our actions, and our behaviors. Again, this is likely to be through playing off of our ego in some type of a way or dangling something that they know will get a reaction from us. You know, this is, we are sort of like not emotionally reacting to things and we are making sure that we have all the information before we are just jumping into some type of onslaught or something like that. We are not seeing things clearly and literally no one knows what's going on in this energy. We're in the fog today. We're in the mist. You know, somebody might say something that sounds really good and they might sound like they're no, they know what they're talking about, but unless you are actually seeing it, you know, with your eyes, which is probably difficult when we're, you know, shrouded in this fog and mist and the Neptune energy, we should not be taking action and we should not allow ourselves to be emotionally like riled up and like really triggered. That's another thing. This could be really triggering us in one way or another with the moon and Mars in the same sign of Gemini, Mars in the square to Venus, the moon setting off this T square between Neptune and the sun, like whatever also like whatever we're escaping from or whatever illusion or delusion or fantasy or even spiritual understanding that we are gaining in this energy, it's causing some type of an emotional conflict that really could be causing us to project or act out or want to take some type of like aggressive or spontaneous action in this energy because of just the way that we are feeling inside with this moon in, in Gemini. And also this is like, very, very, very communicative about the way we feel not holding back at all. This is definitely being exacerbated by the moon squaring both of these planets. And that is just really huge. So much ego-based production is likely to be going on. Because remember, Gemini is the sign of communication. This is like, uh, and the moon is our feelings. And then we have Mars there. This is a heated need to release some pent up feelings, anger, aggression, really needing to get something off our chest, really needing to speak our mind. And Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, you guys. Mercury is in exact opposition to Jupiter today. Jupiter expands things. Jupiter and Aries rules our personal truth. Both of these planets are retrograde. People, there may be some past issues coming back up that people are really hashing out and needing to get some things off their chest today so they can move on from something. That is a huge... Uh, aspect of how this could be playing out, but it could also be making people act like very, very delusional. People could be operating out of extreme senses of like self delusion in this energy, but simultaneously very much verbalizing it, saying how they feel, speaking what's on their mind, breakdowns in relationships for sure. In this energy, this is like a breakup weekend. Um, or, you know, if if your relationship is truly built on like unconditional love and like real true authenticity and love, this is actually a weekend where there might be some resolutions coming in somehow that can make your relationship even stronger and even better. It's not all negative, but where things are built on the ego, this is where these conflicts are coming into place. Fights, arguments, debates in, in a very verbal fashion, like people just like swinging the verbal swords for sure but also and it's also very busy energy with the moon in gemini like this is a very busy like we got a lot to do we got a lot going on we got people to see we got things to do we got stuff to buy as well perhaps like we just we've got a list to get done but also we're like dazed and confused and disoriented um 
don't know what's going on. There's all these fights and conflicts that are literally over like people's fantasies or delusions or misunderstandings about stuff. That's another thing. And that's what I was saying earlier. Like we don't want to be sort of taking action about something or getting in a fight about something or confronting somebody about something in this energy if we're just hearing something and responding rashly and not seeing the whole picture because we could be getting ourselves into a fight or something over literally like a total misunderstanding or something that got totally lost in translation or we could be taking something like very, very strongly out of context and just like getting ourselves in a situation that we don't want to be dealing with as a result of just rushing into something before we actually had all of the information. Also, this energy may have us just running late, forgetting things, and just generally like things making no sense. Nobody knows what's going on. Everybody's just like standing around, like looking at each other, waiting for someone else to take action or something like totally irrational as well. People could be acting totally irrational as this energy plays out. And there could also be like an emphasis on water going on or on oil going on for one reason or another. The Pisces, this water energy, also Pisces rules oil. You could be just finding yourself like, next to a big body of water or something like randomly or just like engaged with water somehow more so over the course of this weekend like little literal water or this could also of course refer to emotions this is also a very emotional day as well and with the moon and the moon in gemini we may be having some difficult conversations about uh like past emotions that are boiling to the surface and that need to be released remember the purging of the priesthood so that we can move on from something or gain some type of closure or reconciliation or resolution to something as well is really coming through in all of this energy but you know again like neptune is a very spiritual planet like this could also have us really wanting to discuss and have conversations about some of this um spiritual guidance that maybe we've received or this higher understanding that we're coming to or these spiritual truths that we are gaining about ourselves like we could also be finding ourselves having some very like spiritually oriented discussions or like emoting you know what i mean or just like the that type of stuff on our mind throughout the course of this day as well and that's probably a good thing because honestly like humans can't help us in this energy we're all just sort of all over the place and that spiritual connection that spiritual guidance really seeking that spiritual truth is uh, a good way to use this energy it's helping us to purge and release our own ego attachments through expanded conscious awareness that is what I feel like is really coming through in this energy that we have playing out Saturday despite just all of the uh, more like uh, it's like ungrounded even though the sun is in Virgo and it's just you know disorienting and perhaps a little bit unsettling with the square going in maybe like again like this escapism tendency and we really want to watch that but it's also energy like I was saying in my video for yesterday where people are telling on themselves through their own projections and this is very this is likely to be very evident this weekend and especially you know today on Sunday but also or on Saturday but also very much on Sunday in the energy as well pay very close attention to what people are actually doing for one and for two what people are like accusing you of doing if there are any type of disputes and stuff going on that you feel like someone is really coming from a place of ego because um, people through their projections are really likely to be disclosing their own various misdoings and stuff I guess you could say as we go out throughout the course of this weekend but we may also learn something about the past in this energy today with all this retrograde energy as well that disorients us this just confuses us just like makes us feel a little bit off kilter off guard in some type of way or creates some of this escapism energy coming through makes us want to escape from something or change our lives in some type of way because remember this is where all this is building to we are building to on the 19th the last transit that's coming in is going to be the sun in a trine to pluto while venus is in a trine to uranus this is some type of very internalized transformation that is like really affecting the entire like consciousness and like like really like the sun you know like our whole being and simultaneously venus in a trine to uranus that really frees us on a heart level in one way or another so that's where all of this is heading you guys like we are heading towards 
being liberated from the things that are weighing us down on a heart and soul level that are not in authentic alignment with our heart and like the transformations that are necessary in order to make that happen. Like that's where this is leading to. But in this energy right now, in this energy today, we may just, it may just be triggering this like escapism energy. And definitely it is this breakdown energy. I mean, we're talking about, first of all, the sun opposition to Pisces and are the sun in opposition to Neptune and Pisces. This is release. This is breakdown. This is that escapism, but it's for the purpose of like merging back into all that is like Neptune, Pisces, the 12th house. This rules like breakdown and dissolving things and loss. And we're also talking about a mutable square that is ongoing today. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, the mutable signs are also signs about like transition, dissolving from one state into another and being adaptable and being able to like go with the flow of things and sort of like, um, you know, transition in the nature of things. And then also to that, we're also talking about a square, which brings tension and which brings conflict and which can also cause breakdown. Like there's so, and we're talking about a T square. This is a three prong square. We've got the sun and the and Neptune opposition with the moon and Gemini coming in that square. Gemini is the sign of like friends and social groups and siblings and the twins and relationships and pairs and Venus and Mars are simultaneously in square. This is a breakdown in interpersonal and relationship dynamics that are standing in the way of us realizing the truth of our own nature. Like that is just what this is boiling down to. Breakdown energy for sure. I mean, even the position of Neptune right now, the purging of the priesthood, the earth today, the purging of the priesthood, like literally talking talking about this purge energy and we're heading towards the sun trining Pluto, which also rules the purge energy, breakdown and transition energy. The sun's moving to the trine with Pluto next, which is the process of this transformation. So it's like in this energy right now, we're sort of gaining a realization or a higher understanding or an intuitive or spiritual, like knowing or calling that we've got to make some big changes and we really need to release ourselves from something. We really need to escape from something. And actually the Venus trine Uranus energy that that's coming up is going to facilitate that process of release but it's just it is what it is you guys and also mercury and um Jupiter in the opposition is telling us though like not to lose hope this process is facilitating the divine blueprint at work we have Mercury at that degree a man watches his ideals taking a concrete form before his inner vision and then Jupiter the triangle with wings Jupiter and Mercury in the opposition Jupiter facilitating this process of Mercury which is the ideals taking concrete form before his inner vision this is the active initiation of the of the cosmic blueprint in its attempt I literally just have like a hummingbird watching me say this stuff right now. So I'm taking that as a confirmation that this is a little bit on point, but this is, I feel like the um, cosmic blueprint being activated and the energy that has been been, that has been being indicated throughout the course of this entire month of September and this entire Virgo cycle. I feel like we are in the energy that is like triggering that whole process right now. So that's what we have going on on the energy for for Saturday. Now let's talk about the energy for Sunday. This is a crazy day, you guys. Don't make choices. Don't make decisions. Don't make commitments. I mean, all throughout the six-day period. We don't want to do that, actually, until we get to our new moon in Libra, the new moon in Libra, the cardinal cycle that's coming up. This is the self-discovery phase. This is the discovery phase. This is not the action, the initiation phase of whatever's going on right now. So we are not making choices. We are not making commitments, especially in relationships, unless they are the decision or the choice to release ourselves from something that is or to get out of something like that is what is being indicated that we are uh, choosing or doing or the action that we are taking in this energy right now but another very very uh could just be like a People could be being very, very triggered. I'm going to put it that way. Very, very triggered in the energy on Sunday. Sunday ultimately is about learning who we truly are, though, on the inside and what we need to do to change our life so that it reflects that on the outside. We have the position of Mercury and Jupiter on Sunday. Now, remember, Sunday, this is Mercury and Jupiter's day. Saturday was Neptune Sunday. I mean, like, ne not not Sunday, Sunday, day of the week, like the Neptune and the day that the sun and the Neptune were in opposition to each other. And now Sunday is the day where we have Mercury retrograde coming into the exact to the degree opposition with Jupiter. 
So this is doing a lot for us, you guys. And also, like I said, like we can't just have these two planets interacting like this because of the position of the moon and like the divine timing of it all and the significance of this transit and like where we are on the dial that's turning right now to initiate the gears that is doing all of this. The moon is moving into Cancer and is going to be forming another T-square, this time in cardinal signs, taking into consideration or at affecting the opposition exact that we have going on on Sunday. So we are in we are in T square energy again. We had T square setting up on Saturday between the big opposition that we had going on Saturday between the sun and Neptune. And on Sunday, we have more T square energy. And this is between another exact opposition, Mercury and Jupiter. And T squares, you guys, these are some of the most difficult aspects in astrology. They said it's an opposition that is being exactly squared by another planet. And squares bring tension and they bring friction and they bring challenges and they like really like bring things to a head ultimately so some kind of resolution or evolution can take place so things can get better in some way or another but that doesn't you know remove the tension oriented nature of the energy that they are representing like they're pushing things to a head for a reason but it doesn't really make it easier as it's happening you know what I mean and so again we are in this t-square energy but the difference is we were in mutable t-square energy yesterday which is more this it's like this Neptune energy it's like this dissolving energy this breaking down energy it's like these conflicts are sort of like changing things from one form to another. But this cardinal energy, cardinal energy is not mutable energy, you guys. Cardinal energy is about doing something. It's about taking action. It's about making something happen. It's about initiating something. Like the cardinal energy is the action oriented phase of things. And with the cardinal T-square playing out today, this is stuff happening like this is us doing something like yesterday the cardinal or this the mutable square energy may have been really bringing up some really uncomfortable feelings or situations but we're sort of we were sort of wanting to like escape from them and like sort of dissolve into them and we weren't sort of um you know very clear on an action to take as a result of whatever we were dealing with. But that is not the same in the energy on Sunday. This is the cardinal T-square. We're talking about Jupiter in the sign of Aries, ruled by Mars in the sign of Gemini. So again... It has to do with these interpersonal dynamics and these ego issues that are going on, but also Mercury ruling our current cycle in the sign of Libra, ruled by Venus in a mutual reception with Venus is very interesting. Mercury is in the sign of Venus. Jupiter is in the sign of Mars. They are both in exact opposition today while Venus and Mars are in a square. So again, it's these same issues that are coming up, these same things themes that we've been dealing with. But what do Mercury and Jupiter in opposition to each other do? Jupiter expands things and Jupiter rules truth. And Jupiter in the sign of Aries rules personal truth. Mercury is our mind, our communications, our thoughts, our attitudes, our perceptions, our mindsets, both retrograde, reconsidering, reevaluating, rediscovering, or just generally dealing with things from the past. This is an expanded viewpoint. This is some big information. This is a greater understanding. This is a higher perspective. This is some personal truth that we are gaining a conscious awareness of in some type of expansive way that is motivating some type of decision, choice, action, initiative that we're coming to that is making us come to a point where we're ready to do something about it. Seeing the truth, seeing the answer, seeing the solution, seeing the way out as well could be represented in this energy. Gaining insight on the action that we need to take following the mutable energy yesterday, the mutable square yesterday, this breakdown energy. We want to be careful, though, because the the downfall with Mercury and Jupiter in an opposition and especially retrograde, when these planets are retrograde, when Mercury is retrograde, you guys, misunderstandings, misperceptions, miscommunications, not seeing things clearly, not hearing things clearly, missing context, Jupiter expands everything, right? So yes, we have the bird's eye view, but the only problem with the bird's eye view is we can't see the details. We can't see the fine print. Like we can't see the punctuation. Like we can't see like the things that are really happening on the ground, like the specifics. So we have a tendency to overlook very necessary, um, like more like basics or like groundwork or fine print or details in this energy. So, you know, it can give us this expanded viewpoint, this expanded perception, 
emotion that wants us to or causes us to want to take some type of action about something. But with Mercury retrograde, you guys, like there's we don't have all the information. We're not seeing the whole entire picture. This is a very good like it gives us a very abstract and overall view and vision and a more like expanded level of conscious awareness about what we want to do next but we don't have all the ducks in the row like we don't have like every little piece of the puzzle like we don't have every little like thing in a line to make our plan unfold properly at this point in time. So taking any type of action in this energy is likely not going to lead to the best outcome because why well, I mean one Mercury's retrograde right now and it's hard a lot of times with Mercury's retrograde, choices, decisions, stuff we make, we have to readjust next time Mercury comes retrograde. So not good in that regards, but also it's because we just don't have like everything is not set up properly. Like we we we've been oh, we're overlooking some important things that are necessary for the success of our plans that we want to initiate right now. So we need to hold off. We need to wait. We need not take this action yet, but we are like getting ready to solutions although you know we're also in black moon energy that's another thing that i have to say about this energy that we have going on for sunday the moon is in can or the black moon is in cancer right now whenever the moon comes into the sign where the black moon is or opposing the black moon it triggers this black moon energy like we could be dealing with some real wounds that are surfacing in this energy as well also some fears some insecurities um about like the sense of loss as well like I was talking about with the Neptune energy going on and like realizing perhaps like what we need to walk away from or what we need to leave behind and the flag at half mass in front of the public building like perhaps some like painful or difficult loss that is coming as a result of us needing to rearrange our lives in a way that is more suiting to us at this point in time and more fulfilling to us at this point in time like or this relationship breakdown energy like we could just be realizing that we sort of need to walk away from some things that we don't aren't feeling necessarily ready to release but simultaneously like we know we can no longer take with us and it can just be definitely like this more difficult period of time right now and with this black moon energy being triggered as well this is like our fears our worries our insecurities our doubts in regards to our security and our stability and our ability to care for ourselves and care for others and to receive like um acceptance and love and nurturing and support and like our place in the home and our place in the family and the place in the group like we, this may be feeling like really threatened in this energy and we may be really triggered about it and it may really be bringing up some fears or insecurities in regards to these conclusions that we're coming to or these truths that we're seeing like I'm not saying you guys like the the revelations that we may be coming to in this Mercury Jupiter energy they may really be some uglier truths with the black moon being activated um, and it could have a lot to do with these fights that are going on or these eruptions or these overreactions and relationship dynamics that we are experiencing and they may scare us as well. Like the solutions that we're coming to may really bring us out of our comfort zone in like a major way. And just like having to sit with that and deal with that may also just be, you know, really making us feel like a little bit heavier in the vibrations as they are ongoing. This is kind of a heavier energy day that we have playing out on Sunday. And also like people are likely to be sort of wiling out in this energy, like definitely acting out today. Venus and Mars Sabian symbols still in the one degree off square and with the Mercury Jupiter and Venus and Mars signs going on like this is also big verbalizations. There could be really big fights going on, you guys, in relationships today. Venus is at 17 degrees of Virgo. That Sabian symbol is a volcanic eruption. And Mars is at 16 Gemini, a woman activist on a platform in an emotional speech dramatizing her cause. People definitely acting out, super triggered, super projecting, super over dramatizing things, super attention seeking behavior, playing the victim, everything along those lines, egos running absolutely wild, needing to be seen, needing to be heard, needing to be catered to, feeling very entitled to things. But this is actually what is pushing us, I feel like, to see the truth in a lot that is playing out right now. Remember how I said people are going to be telling on themselves? This is the action and the energy that is likely to be sort of like doing that for them. 
um, pushing us to see the truth and also the truth of what we desire as well with this Mercury Libra energy. Like we may, people may be acting in such a fashion today that we are seeing the truth about something and we are realizing that maybe that's not the type of relationship that we really want to have going forward at this point in time. And maybe we need to take some type of action or really make a plan or really figure out like how we are going to get out of a certain situation or how we are going to realign things for ourselves in a way where we are aren't having to experience this type of dynamic that maybe we're just like thoroughly over at this point in time. We are figuring out the truth about ourselves and what we truly desire for ourselves moving forward. Sabian symbols also of the sun and the earth that we have going on on Sunday. We have the sun at a boy with a censer serves near the priest at the altar. And the earth is at a new moon it reveals that it's time for people to go ahead with their different projects. So we're receiving these divine insights, this higher spiritual truth, this higher spiritual like connection or guidance that may be coming through with all this Neptune energy that we've been dealing with as well. And with this expanded perception. Jupiter truth, personal truth, wisdom, bird's eye view, conscious awareness, Mercury, our mind really getting it on a cognitive level that is really clearing some things up for us or resolving some things from the past or helping us to rediscover like our own personal truth about stuff. We've received this divine insight. We've seen the light. We've heard the trumpets and now we are deciding that we are ready to step into a greater form of embodiment with these truths that we are coming to and maybe take some action to grow something new or go in a different direction going forward. The new moon <laughs> reveals that it's time for people to go ahead with their different projects. Like it's time to start something new and that is what we are realizing. And the boy with the sensor serves near the priest at the altar as a result of maybe some type of spiritual awakening, spiritual communion, spiritual connection, spiritual guidance. That has also sort of been woven into the experiences over this past couple of days. This is us realizing the truth about things and it may be a pretty ugly truth, like I said, also in this black moon energy. But we've seen, it's like we've seen the monsters under the bed and we know that they're there now. So now it's like, okay, I've got this going on. What am I going to do about it? What are we, what do I need to figure out? What am I going to do about it? And like I said, as we move through this energy, as we move through the 19th, I do feel like these transformations will just sort of begin like organically happening and universe actually Jupiter currently at the triangle with wings facilitating this process for us in order to help us ascend into this greater level of conscious awareness. It's requiring this profound internal transformation, which is coming soon. That is the next phase of the process. So it's really like super magical to me, sort of how this energy has been playing out. You know, it is a really crazy window and people are likely to just be all over the place, like not on their best behavior, not acting good. But it's also for the purpose of showing us, you guys, where the problem is. It also reminds me of sort of my other job, what I do. Um, You guys obviously don't know this, but I am like a physical healer in my other job. Like I'm a neuromuscular massage therapist and I heal bodies with my hands, like with physical touch through knowing where the problem, being able to find the problem and then being able to trigger a response in the brain that helps to alleviate the problem, helps the body to alleviate the problem itself. That's what we do. Like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like any type of um, massage therapy <laughs> or like what trigger points are or anything like that. But basically, you know, you can have a problem going on. Like you can have an injury going on. Like you can have something that is like really severe or really hurting you or like, like making it limiting your motion or your mobility and stuff like that or causing you like a really strong physical problem. But the thing is like where it's stemming from is likely completely different from where we're actually experiencing the symptom. And we don't realize that we have a problem going on in the place that is actually causing the manifestation of the symptom. And so it's like a lot of times like, and, and that's usually called the trigger point. And we don't realize that we have these trigger points until someone knows where the trigger point is, pushes on the trigger point. And then we're like, oh my God, that hurts so bad. And it's like this, uh, you know, very obvious sensation that lets us know like, whoa, there's a problem here, but I didn't even know there was a problem there. But as soon as we do that, as soon as we activate that, it sends a signal to the brain to send fresh blood to that spot, to send oxygen there, to flush it out, to help alleviate that tension. 
And as we do that, and as that muscle or that place or whatever that is relaxes, it will it alleviates the problem or alleviates wherever the symptom is manifesting as well. And I feel like that's also sort of like a good analogy for what is going on in this energy. It's like we're solving problems that we didn't even know we had and it's clearing up the symptoms that we've been trying to just like put a bandaid over. Yeah. Like maybe we've been looking for a solution to the symptom, not realizing where that symptom was actually stemming from. But as soon as we're gaining this awareness and we're like, Whoa, like I have an issue there that I didn't even know I had until it got poked in this moment. And yeah, like it hurt a lot when you poked it, but now I know it's there. And as a result of that, like there's fresh ideas and there's momentum and there's movement and there's chi and there's, you know, there's blood flow and there's um, vibrations and there's like the, the facilitation of all of this. And it allows us to sort of start circulating the energy and to clear it up and to release it and to heal. Like that's ultimately what this is, you guys. Ending with the Pluto trine, like this is ultimately about healing, but it's through the purpose of having like places poked that cause, you know, maybe a painful reaction so that we can recognize it, so that we can know that it's there and so that universe can, and, and, you know, our higher selves and stuff like that and our own conscious awareness can begin the process of helping us to heal and release ourselves from these symptoms or these cycles that we've been experiencing. So that's what I have to say, you guys. That's what I have to say about the energy for this weekend. That's what we are doing. We're healing from things. We're healing so symptoms by discovering the root of the problem and we're discovering the root of the problem through you know maybe some of the more painful or difficult things that we are dealing with and that we're navigating but it's ultimately taking us to this purpose or to I'm, i've been having a difficult time talking lately to this place of healing and release that is setting us on a much better track towards activating our destiny coming into our higher power co-creation with god and universe and helping to manifest the age of aquarius and we're not going to get into that whole thing right now but we're gonna uh that's we're gonna stop there and we're gonna pick a synchronicity card to give us some advice on how to get through this weekend. So God, spirit universe, what do we need to know? What should we focus on? And there it is for this weekend. It says, wait, you guys, we're not taking action. We're not making decisions, even though we may feel very spurred to do something with this cardinal energy that is coming through on, um, Sunday in the Cardinal Square, we need to wait until we gain some greater clarity. Wait on the Lord and he shall save the Proverbs 2022. 20, and you guys, there is that 222. Two, two. So yeah, this is uh, some advice we should probably take. Relax, let go and let God. Don't struggle to make things happen before they are ready to happen. Wait and be assured everything is working together for your good. Now is not the right time to advance. Wait in faith and expectancy of the very best. Know that when the time comes to advance, you will be directed to say and do the right thing. So that's what we have, you guys. This is our advice for the weekend. Personally, I think that that's also the advice that I would give if you're navigating some difficult stuff this weekend. This is about self-discovery. This is about aligning with our higher truth. And this is about an internalized process of trusting the path ahead, really, and not being afraid to go with the flow of what universe is presenting right now, not resisting against the tides. So that's what I have to say, you guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope I was able to provide something for you that can give you just a little bit of whatever you're needing as you are navigating uh, your experiences this weekend. If you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. It's totally free. It really helps my channel grow when you do that. I really appreciate the help trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, leave me comments, you guys. I absolutely love your comments. I'm so grateful for you being here. Thank you so, so much for being on this energetic journey with me. I truly appreciate uh, each and every one of you and your feedback and everything that you have to say. I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, a website, and some other social media stuff in my description box below. If you're interested in any of that, share it with your friends if you think that they would like this kind of content too. And come back with me tomorrow, you guys. I'll be back again Monday the 19th. And well, I guess it's not technically Monday, but come back or it's not technically tomorrow. Tomorrow, but it's Monday. Come back with me on Monday for day six of this energetic journey. The last day in this window that is opening, we will have some transformation and some pretty serious uh, liberation on a heart based level to talk about. So I'll be here. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. And I'll see you then guys. Have a beautiful weekend. And until then, bye.